Discretion is advised. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fat Nasty Nerd run -throughs. Well, <clears throat> it has recently come to my attention and ideas float that as a channel progresses or gains popularity, that it develops. So here's kind of a brief history over the channel and kind of like what I foresee coming and I felt like it'd be interesting to know what the viewers, my viewers, my subscribers that I love very much think. Because um, obviously the only reason I do this is because you guys watch my channel and if you quit watching then I'm not, then I have no reason to do this. So originally my channel was started to basically be something obviously different and do something with the hobby that I love doing um, and give my opinion over, over games that come out that would be different from everyone else's. Originally, it was going to be where there was going to be no rule mess ups at all. Like, oh man, if like if we if we play the game and there was a rule mess up, then we were going to do it all over again. Um, yeah, that never happened. That was the original intent, and that was kind of my channel description for a time. But uh, no, because that is. One, pretty much impossible, and two, I would hate games very much, and I would have no one to play them with if that was my mentality. It's like, no, we got one rule wrong, we have to do, we have to do it all over again. It wasn't going to happen, so uh, that got thrown away. The other idea was I was kind of going to make it like rather run-throughs, like the, the first-person cam, do it myself, um, or first-person whenever I was playing with people. That was my... If you look at, uh, I think it, originally Relic was a run through I did that was first person and was I was playing with my girlfriend Kat and my and my friend Blake, and that I eventually got rid of because I want to do Relic again, you know, as I have better equipment and stuff like that, a better format. Um, and then Legends of Andor I did myself, and that one is still up, but that one's probably gonna be taken down soon, as obviously to be redone. Um. And then it turned, my videos turned into, okay, well, it was going to be a how to play and then the run through and the discussion, all one video with annotations that would take you to that. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't just make them separate videos, but now I do that. Now, if there's a how to play, it's a separate video that, and then you can, you know, click on the eye or, or click the suggested video at the end to go to the run through. Then once I did that, uh, cause I took away how to play cause like they're not helping anyone. Well, uh, apparently people wanted them, so now they're back. Then there was the run-through, and there was a discussion with an annotation at the beginning to take you to that. Well, now I have my run-throughs as a separate video and the discussion as a separate video because some people just want to hear what what I think or what, what other people think of games. So that's a separate video, and if they want to watch the run-through, they can. So now my videos are formatted and structured, I think, way better that I started doing unboxings that people seem to like, so there's, whenever I record almost any game, it's going to come with an unboxing, then a how to play, then a run through, and a discussion, and that's that. Um, originally my channel was going to be, was having, was going to have no reviews. We were always going to play a game all the way through, even if we didn't like it, then do a separate discussion afterwards. But then as it got more popular and as I got more busy and into the, the channel, it became, hey, I don't have the time to play games I don't like, so it's much easier to do a no run through review over the, that game and why I don't like it. And, some, and then now that also turned into expansions and other games that, um, hey, I'll, I'm, I'm not going to get to to do a run through for this, but I like it and stuff like that. So now I, I very rarely do these, but they are there. My channel has always been about full run throughs and making it feel as genuine as possible. Like, get the feel that this is what it would be like to play it, whether or not I was recording. And I feel like I've done that. I feel like I have at least sparked the idea that we are genuinely just playing a game. These are reactions that happen and stuff like that. We were never scripted. Um, very rarely are we scripted for the skits. Um, and so that, that was my idea. That was my niche. And then the niche of No Holds Barred, where we will pretty much, we, we swear, we make these crude jokes, we almost kind of like the, um, like the South Park of board gaming. 
Uh, obviously, to not that extent, we are still limited, and I restrict a few a few jokes of, of what people say, but I, I don't hide my, my humor or my intention or feelings towards any type of game or, you know, political affiliation, religious affiliation, um, just opinions in general, and I am fully aware that that will turn some people off, and they'll be like, uh, well, I don't like, I, I can't watch this because I play games with my kids, and that's fine. Like, I understand that. I'm not trying to get you to be like, oh, hey, watch me swear and make all these racist, or not racist jokes, but like all these, you know, crude jokes and have your kids listen. No. I mean, I've been told that, hey, I like your channel, but I watch these with my kids and I can't, I can't do that. So, and I'm not going to ever restrict myself. That's the niche of, these, of this channel. Anyway, so that's kind of the history of, of, of this channel. And now what brings me to actually the focal point of this. The name. So, Fat Nasty Nerd Run Throughs uh, came in as what originally was my gamer tag on Xbox Live. It was uh, called Fantasy Nerd. And uh, anytime I logged in, everyone I played with or everyone who saw me thought it said Fat Nasty Nerd. And I was like, you know what? Fine. I sat here for like an hour trying to come up with a cool name to put up and and now, now it won't let me, or now no one ever sees it. So I'm like, fine, I'll spend $10 to change it. And I changed it to Fat Nasty Nerd. Well, three years ago, probably going on four now, uh, I was like, well, okay, I'll just take my gamer tag. It's funny, like the story behind it is funny. And I'll just put run-throughs after, because my channel, I want my channel to be all about run-throughs. So that's where Fat Nasty Nerd run-throughs comes from. And it's the joke that if people log in and watch a video and they see me, I don't like to think I'm nasty, I'm not fat, so I, I am a nerd. That's the only true part of that statement. And that's the joke. Like, hey, hey, this guy's not fat, he's not nasty, whatever. Um, but it has recently come to my attention um, and kind of an idea that my channel is steadily growing. And, I mean, to be honest, whenever, and now I'm getting sent Kickstarter games, I have prototypes that I get sent and stuff like that. Um, I've done interviews with stuff, so it, it is kind of embarrassing to give my channel name to professionals or people. If I want this to grow any bigger, I kind of need, the, the name has to grow. It's almost like giving your first email address out that you're like, <laughs> ugh, ugh, I really don't want to uh, give this to you. So you make a new one, a more professional one. Um, so that is what I'm here asking you for. If you watch my channel, or if this is your first time uh, checking this out, um, I, I have two names that I have come up with, and I'll explain why these are the two that I've, uh, that I've, that I've chosen. Um, and here are basically the criteria. The criteria, number one, was to give off the fact that my channel is no holds barred. It is going to come off as, um, hey, well, this is you know, he, he, he's crude, he makes jokes, and, and if, then that's just how it is. Uh, this is his type of humor, and this is, this is his group. Um, it also was supposed to give off the fact that, yes, it is about run-throughs. It was about that first, and everything else is second. Like, it, always there will be a board game run-through, and then very rarely will there be a review or an unboxing or stuff like that. The other criteria was that it can't be too like specific, meaning that it can't be focusing more on the review side, or it has to make sense. It can't just sound cool or sound whatever. It had to relate to the channel. Um, so there are two that we, uh, me and my group of friends uh, that we're thinking of that's kind of helped me a little bit uh, lately with my channel um, come up with. And the first one is Relentless Run-Throughs. That is, because they're also going to be helping me with a uh, better opening uh, like opening animation and a logo, because obviously that has to change as well. Uh, it's no longer the drawn fat guy. Uh, so Relentless Run-Throughs is one that um, I'm kind of partial to. Like I like that one a little bit more because the Relentless part I can tie in with anything. Relentless unboxing, Relentless discussion, Relentless uh, review if I wanted to. Um, it, all, it kind of has a variety that, that comes with it, and it, it rolls off the tongue I think really well, Relentless Run-Through. Um, or run throughs, and and so that that is one of them, and that shows that hey, I mean, if he doesn't like a game, he's not gonna you know he's not gonna hide it. He if he his jokes are are relentless sometimes and stuff like that. So that was the one that uh, 
that I'm more partial to, but a very close second uh, was called Unlocked Run-Throughs. And um, the reason why we chose this one was basically because it ties into my name, which is Locke. And, uh, and so we just, that, that was kind of like, hey, here's a little bit of me in the title. And it kind of works really well for a logo, it works well for an animation. So, I mean, it does work well with the other ones, um, but not so much as kind of like the idea that Relentless goes into. Like, yeah, you can do unlocked uh, run-throughs, unlocked review, um, and for different like um, things that can go into the videos, we, we were thinking of doing achievements. Like, at the end of like, that was kind of a way that the video would end. That would be my closing animation. Not a closing skit, but after that part would be an achievement. Something that happened in the game that would be an achievement that I make up. And then that would be the closing, and then you could click on videos to go to other ones. So, from a animation and video style, Unlocked Run-Throughs works really well. From a channel perspective, I think Relentless Run-Throughs works um, really well. So I'm kind of torn on both. Uh, and I wanted to see what you guys think. Which one you guys like better. And, I mean, if you guys don't think any of those work and you have a better idea, um, just meet the criteria of no holds barred, uh, you know, genuine um, videos, and then, but still, you know, professional and still funny, because at least I hope they're funny to some people, um, and, and just useful overall that is not something that no one understands because they're not in the joke. They don't get the inside joke. Uh, so I figured that that is kind of the direction I'm heading towards. I'm, I'm trying to make my videos more professional. Um, I don't like the animations and stuff because like they get, I like, that's the thing is the skits and stuff, not the skits, the opening animation is dated. Like, I, like, so it won't have any people. I'm trying to get better in animation, a generic animation that I can use for everything, like every other big YouTuber does. Same with the final closing thing. Um, but the content will still be the same, um, if not only get better in quality, and then, you know, may play around with your ideas. The interviews will still be there, the skits will still be there, the full run-through will still be there, and then everything else. So, I wanted to hear what you guys thought, so let me know in the comments below, and then other than that, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to support us, you can go ahead and click that link to go to my Patreon account. If you have any suggestions, you can go ahead and click the link in the show notes below to go to my board game geek, geek list. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.